the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for the Spider S&P 500 ETF trust with the ticker symbol SPY. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, it doesn't constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have the daily chart for the SPY and it looks like the SPY is back to being bullish as of right now. So let's go over what it can be doing in the coming days and weeks. So it looks like the SPY is making higher highs, higher lows. However, this high is barely above this one. So there's um, signs of weakness on the chart, but we did get a good bounce uh, from this 392 level. And the reason for that was probably due to this uh, channel or this trend line. And you can see if I drag it up, it's pretty good against price action. This looks like the channel uh, the prices are respecting. We got a bounce uh, from the low side, just like we did in the past, and that could send prices up. Uh, the only reason I don't like this bounce is because we came up short here. Normally when we come up short, we can get a breakout on the opposite side, but in this case, you know, it held. It is what it is. So it looks like it's still uh, continuing to rally higher. So that's an indication that uh, this channel uh, is probably confirmed. And also prices broke outside of this congestion level right here. So this was a breakout and prices went down in this little slim little channel. And we had a breakout of this channel too to the upside. So this looks pretty good. There's a lot of macro structure price action on the chart telling me we can go higher. Overall, there was this range pattern also we have to keep an eye on. So this was pretty much the lows of the range right here. And this was the highs. So we were in this range previously in the past. We broke on the bottom, we broke on the top price. It came back inside the range. We're finding support near the bottom. So, you know, we're finding support near the bottom. We have this channel trend line holding prices up. We have a breakout on the smaller scale, which can fail. And we have this channel that looks to be played out in the slim downtrend channel. So there's a lot of um, factors telling me we can continue to see prices trend higher. If we do a measure move target from this leg up and I drag it higher, this is targeting right around the 437, 436 level. Mark that with a horizontal line right about here. And that would take out this prior high right here. Now we can also do a measured move for the smaller structure, which is right here. And it coincides with the larger one. So whenever you see confluence, multiple reasons why uh, price can do what it can do. Uh, you know, there's some confidence here. Uh, that we can continue higher to the conversion move target. So as right now, it's looking pretty bullish. We got back above the EMA. We closed above it uh, nicely. Let's see if we see that follow through. If not, I mean, we could probably trap bulls, but as right now, it does look pretty good to me. I think we could see uh, continuation to the upside, uh, probably back up to this high point at the 417, 418 level, and maybe even this measure move target in the mid 430s. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for the SPY. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now here's the weekly chart for the SPY, and you can see that if I zoom in on the chart, prices made a low point right back here. It went up, it tried to go down once, it went up again, it tried to go down twice. So if the market does something twice and fails, it's most likely to do the opposite, which is go up. So it looks like shorts could be trapped, and we knock out this high right here and reach the um, 436, 437 level. Now let's say we go higher and we don't reach that measurable target. Well, then that's a very bad sign where we can see a crash because price action was supposed to reach it. If you cannot reach it, that shows signs of weakness for the bulls. And we can see the sellers just come right through and drop prices down rapidly. So it, is, it does look like the price in the formation of getting that second leg higher. Because normally when we have a channel or a trend, we get two attempts at that previous extreme. So currently we got the first attempt higher. We pull back and now we're getting the second attempt. That'll take us right to the mid 430s. Uh, so if we don't reach it or we come up short, let's say we stop right around the 413, 415 level, then that's a trap for the shorts where we can see a massive rotation downwards. Uh, but as right now, it does look pretty bullish. Maybe we don't ever go back down to the lows because this uptrend channel in the macro scale has a lot of gravitational force to it. Maybe bigger 
than this one right here. So we have two ch multiple channels on the chart. Which one is stronger? It's the one that's the largest and it's been in play for the longest time, so which is the up uptrend channel. All this could just be a correction. If we see price action fail to go down multiple times, we're probably gonna do the opposite, which is go up. So as right now, it's looking bullish. I'm expecting that second leg up, uh, at least an attempt to reach that measure move target right around the 430s. If we fail to reach it, we can see a big crash down. But as right now, next week looks to be pretty bullish. I'd be expecting prices to um, continue higher, especially since we closed right above the EMA. You can see that we pulled back to it and we bounced from it. So it's looking pretty strong. Uh, looks like we're going to probably fill in that gap right at the 407 level and possibly start taking out these uh, swings. So we'll have to wait and see. But as right now, I was looking for bullish uh, for this buy and I'll be expecting higher prices. And I'll give you guys an update next week, Sunday. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. Since you might be surprised what you can learn, leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.